Okay, welcome to 2C Angles at a Point. So the key ideas here are the different types of angles, starting with adjacent angles, which are right next to each other, side by side, and they share a vertex, a common point, and an arm. So looking at the example we have here, here's the symbol for angle, A, O, B. From point A, there's the vertex in the middle to B, so this angle is next to or adjacent to angle B, O, C. B, O is the vertex, C. So these two angles are adjacent to each other. Now, how, we, how do we find that useful? A complementary adjacent angle will add up to 90 degrees. So you see here the symbol for a right angle that tells us we've got 90 degrees. So if we add up whatever, however many degrees B is, and subtract that from 90, we will get the answer for A. They add up to 90. Now, similarly, but a little bit bigger than 90 degrees, is the supplementary adjacent angle. So these angles are adjacent because they're next to each other, and they're supplementary because instead of 90, which was complementary, they add up to 180 degrees, or a straight line. So if you have a straight line and a point and an arm off there, these two angles, A, and B will add up to 180 degrees. If you know the angle of, for example, B, and you know its measurement, subtract that from 180, and you're going to get A, and I'll show you that below. Angles in a revolution, which is right around, sum up to 360 degrees. So you see here we have our vertex and our uh, smaller of the two angles on this side, our reflex angle on that side, adding up a and B will give us 360. So again, if we knew the answer to one of these, say we knew what B was, then we subtract that from 360, and that remainder is our A angle. Now it, it gets better than that. Instead of um, adjacent, which is next to each other, sometimes angles are vertically opposite of each other, and they're formed by two lines when they intersect. So this line is intersected by this line, and it's created vertically opposite angles. The name comes to the fact that the pair of angles has a common vertex, which is this puppy, and they sit opposite each other. So B is the same. This angle is the same as that angle. So if we knew the measurement for this angle here, the vertically opposite angle will have the same measurement, the same thing with A. These are vertically opposite and will have the same measurement of degrees. Similarly, uh, perpendicular lines, they they intersect and they do so at right angles or at 90 degrees. So if you have uh, two intersecting lines and you have 90 degrees, then you're going to have 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees right the way around. Now let's do an example. So here, and it does say, without using a protractor, because we're not doing that this time, find the size of each angle marked with the letter A. Now I just need to remember what the rules are. So for this first one, I've got two adjacent angles next to each other, and it looks like I've got a 90 degree. So just going back and checking, this is complementary adjacent next to each other. So they will add up to 90 degrees in total. So I know I've got 35 degrees, and I know that that's going to be the difference. So I take 90 degrees, my right angle, and I take 35 off of that, and I'll get my answer which is, uh, uh, carry the one, write it even, 55 degrees. So in this case, A equals 55 degrees. And it's good to be specific and put the degrees on there. Now for this one here, it's not going to add up, these two adjacent angles are not going to add up to 90, but rather 180. So remember, that is a supplementary adjacent. We know that adds up to 180 because there's a straight line, and then there's these, these two. So similarly, we know the total is 180. We know that this angle is 55. So if I take that off 180, I end up with 125. And so the truth of the matter is A equals 125. And let's put degrees on there so we know that we're talking about degrees and not chickens. Now finally over here, we've got some information We've got, this is 120 degrees, this is a right angle, so we know that's 90 degrees, and here is our question, what is A? And that brings us back to 
the angles in a revolution. So the total all the way around the, the vertex, all the way around the vertex, will be 360. So we could add together 90 and 120 and take that off 360. Uh, we could, anyway, let's take 360. We'll take off 120 just for fun, and that leaves us with 240. Take off 90 from that, and we have ourselves 150. So the answer is A equals 150 degrees. There are your practice exercises. Good luck.